Good evening and welcome to 200forexpips.com. I'm here with the final analysis of 20th of July 2017. So first of all guys, um, it was a very easy day for trading. If you have followed the signals, then everything went quite successful. Okay, first of all, I'm going to talk about EURUSD. You can see a very clear bullish trend on EURUSD. We have a very good trend here. Uh, you can compare the three candles. They are quite big and the euro usd has moved up now i'm going to take you to the signals report that was a signal report sent to the subscribers in the morning i was right bullish from the morning and the entry was double one five zero one two and i was expecting the market to reach at one one five double seven eight and you can clearly see it has even break that boundary and it has touched the one one six level okay right now you can see that uh, uh, this is this is called the day trading that we were waiting for a complete day for this bullish activity as you know that if we if you watch the previous video that i have posted then i have mentioned in clear words that euro usd is in a bullish channel and i am not advising anyone to sell this pair and today that's uh, that's what i was looking for the market and the market has completely uh, gone in our favor okay uh, right now uh, you can see that uh, two dodges are appeared on the chart and now we can expect some downward trend but overall uh, uh, the market will get settled tomorrow because here it can make some correction so uh, buying at this stage is now risky because it has already moved so up okay at next i'm going to talk about new zealand usd that was a very successful trade you can see that the market has clearly made a bullish pattern today from here to here you can see the market started making a bullish pattern and this is the oversold level and at the oversold level we have start receiving the bullish candles and scalper has provided you with a buy signal in the form of white arrow right uh, like five hours ago and now i'm going to take you to the signals report this is the second signal of my signals report so new zealand usd i was having a bullish expectation from 073247 and you can see that the market has clearly moved up so that's how uh, we have predicted the market in a right way uh, uh, if we talk about euro usd and New Zealand USD both are successful okay USD JPY so I was talking to one of the subscribers in the morning and he was talking about the U-turn and I have clearly mentioned him that when the when the on an hourly chart when it will take a U-turn then the market will go down as per the analysis of the day and now I'm going to take you to the signals report so that I can show you that I was quite bearish right from the mar uh, right from the morning and that was the entry double one two three zero five and guys you can see that the entry is all, also placed on on my chart in the form of red line and the market clearly took a u-turn and after that even the scalper has provided you with a sell arrow in the form of red arrow and then you can clearly see that the four hours the market is down okay guys now look at here uh, we have a hammer after a downward trend that is why the market is just uh, making a correction but overall if we talk about usd jpy then i have already explained this thing in my yesterday video that uh, usd jpy is in a zone where we can consider it as a week and today it has went weak and that what I was looking from yesterday okay uh, this is the scalping done on AUD USD in the morning that, that this was the trade during the London session so you can see I'm just going to talk about this downfall so uh, this downfall was taken and then the benefit was taken from this downfall you know that prior trend on EUD USD was up and then do big dodgy appeared and scalper has pointed you to sell the pair and for like seven to eight hours the U AUD USD has followed the pattern and if you talk about the signals report then I have supplied the bearish signal to my subscribers in the morning and the entry was 079362 and the market just moved down uh, from the entry and it has gone down so many pips and after that as New Zealand USD got strong so normally it also uh, goes in the same direction so then it uh, received a very strong momentum but overall uh, you need to be very careful on AUD USD because the immediate resistance is at 079830 so buying this pair is not worthy anymore so be careful with AUD USD okay sell position is taken on USD CHF today it was a very easy trade let me switch my chart so guys today uh, it has taken a proper U-turn. This is called a U-turn as per my signals report. You know, I was bearish. It went into the top red boundary. After that, it received a very good rejection. And USD CHF has came down so many pips. And now I'm going to take you to the signals report. So this is the uh, signal. I was 
bearish from 09.5617. So if you have waited for the U-turn, the market came down and it, it broke break that level from that uh, from above, and that was your entry. And I am hopeful that those subscribers who have taken the trade as per the signals report, they should be in profit overall. If you were using the trading system, then the th things were very simpler because it went into the overbought levels the red boundary the top red boundary is the overbought level and here it means that you are not going to buy the pair anymore and from here we have received a rejection and the market has came down okay now look at usdchf it looks like uh, that it has it is uh, making a recovery but overall uh, i have talked about this in the yesterday video that usdchf is, is weak okay now uh, let's talk about a usd canadian dollar okay sell position is taken on a usd canadian dollar and this is what was advised to the subscribers sell position is taken from 126283 that was the entry provided to the subscribers and you can see that the market first touched the entry it breaks the entry and after that that was a proper u-turn and after that uh, you can see that scalper has also pointed you with the sell signal from here and you will you you had a three hours chance to make a profit on usd canadian dollar because it went completely down and that was a chance because uh, you had my report that i was having a bearish expectation on usd canadian dollar and things were very simple for trading today at last i'm going to talk about great britain pound jpy so guys um, very easy trade first of all i'm going to take to the last signal of my signals report i was bearish i had talked about this in the yesterday video that great britain pound jpy is in a bearish zone and now guys you can clearly see the market has received a very good rejection right from the entry that i have provided in my signals report from 146328 and you can clearly see just below that level the market started going bearish and if we talk about the technicals then if you look at the prior trend on great britain pound jpy it was up dodgy was appeared and then that was a sign for trend reversal and the market is down and guys i have already talked about this in the yesterday video and i have i, I clearly mentioned that do not buy great britain pong jpy it's having a weaker um, a weaker expectation so overall guys seven signals have been hit today except uh, uh, great britain pound usd because i have supplied the bullish signal but it's down so rest of the seven signals went fine and i am hopeful my subscribers should be in profit with no problems overall for the newcomers let me explain how to use the trading system when the overly candles come inside the top red boundary or blue 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 boundary and if you see proper rejection i mean not sell any pair when it's making the bullish candles inside the top red boundary do not take any kind of sell positions when the market starts making the bearish pattern like here as you can see on the great britain pound jpy chart that was your entry that's that's that was the confirmation and if you have watched the doji before that so this is this is the more solid confirmation that the market will go down and guys the market is down and when uh, you want to place your buy orders then you must wait for a couple of bullish candles on the chart and then you can buy the pair this is how you need to uh, use this trading system this is how this trading system will help you otherwise if you will blindly place buy and sell trades then you must know that there is no indicator system which is 100 percent perfect in the forex market you need to include your human judgment and after that you can get very good results from the forex market uh, overall guys today it was a very good day for trading uh, with, the, with the help of signals as well as if you have used the trading system the, both were quite fine so guys if you are looking to get this trading system if you are looking to subscribe to my forex signal service if you want to improve your trading technique through my video lessons or request for skype one-to-one -one live coaching then please send your inquiries on this email info at the rate of 200 forexpips.com subscribe my youtube channel like my videos and share this analysis with other traders thank you for watching the video